This is Mugler's Amen. It came out in 1996. If you were born in 1996, other fragrances that came out then are including Curve for men and women, Cool Water for women, and even Chrome for men. So it was a Hall of Year fragrance year. Even Versace Dreamer came out in 1996. Upon first spray of Amen Mugler, you will smell a chocolatey tar note that's off-putting to many people. Personally, I love that smell. The fragrance is very well affordable. Give you an idea when this was first made. When you were born in 1996, the movie Happy Gilmore with Adam Sandler came out. Fragrance was called Angel Men back then, not Amen. If you happen to see some schmo selling something called Angel Men for men and the juice is still blue, not turned brown or anything, grab it. That's the original formula to give you an idea back then. I could barely squirt one half of a trigger on myself. It was so powerful. The real meaning of nuclear, the authentic meaning of beast mode. To this day, this affordable fragrance still packs a punch for the price value proposition and the eight to nine hours, even longer eternal value you get. It's just not as strong. The note was so strong back then, it would collect all in my sinuses, even after one squirt, and I'm like, seven hours later, release, and I would be scared to wear the fragrance. That's how strong it was. Just so you know, Mugler was bought by L'Oreal right around 2016, 17, somewhere in there. And if you see the ones with his cursive handwritten signature, Thierry Mugler, that's a little bit better formula. It's a little bit more original closer to that 1996 one but they are all good when you spray this upon first spray you will also smell some fruity spice notes and that's all they list and i smell it. it's kind of like apples and spices and then you have this beautiful chocolatey caramel notes alongside some vanilla and coffee notes and amen mugler made impressive unique fragrances for this to come out 20 years ago or however many 25 years ago this was so modern back then it's not even funny gourmandi style fragrance the fragrance here that you can still buy to, if it's compliments you're looking for you'd have to wear this with succinct precision matching the fragrance with the weather with your event and with your clothing and you will get massive compliments if you were just to think that you're going to spray this every day no if you think that because i'm telling you it's cheap and it's long lasting that you might like it well if you like those notes of coffee and fruit and vanilla chocolatey tarry notes that dries down gorgeously then you will like it but some people don't understand it the rest of the fragrances on this list are not to be judged at first spray definitely you must wait for the dry down montal starry night opens up with a bergamot and apple note and it's so delicious and i personally dislike the opening of this but i love three hours later the smell of this it reminds me of the fruits and spices that are in here it just reminds me in my head i started not being able to tell which one was which but there's no coffee there's no vanilla in there i'm just talking about the fruit note when i precisely pick out the exact note with this fragrance, it's a huge central, enormous bubble. The, all the fragrances on this list are just super long lasting and perfect for fall weather. Starry Nights is the perfect transitional in the fall when it's starting to get warm to cold. It's got this crazy little thing on it. Starry Nights ends off with some floral notes and sprinkles of roses. So think about fruity, floral, sprinkled rose, white musk. And that's how it the next budget fall fragrance is called Mancera Amber Fever. This fragrance opens up with whiskey notes alongside caramel notes and some jasmine notes. Basically, it dries down creamy and different than you would expect from the beginning smell. It does smell very good and this one lasts so long you will also get compliments because it's a very pleasing, easy to wear. This is the easiest to wear fragrance on this list. Furthermore, uh, do you ever smell teak wood like if someone was in a wood shop after three hours i can definitely smell this like dusty dry teak wood coming out of here and that's one of the notes listed and i found that pretty cool mancera amber fever was released in 2019 for a bonus i have you this one you can wear 
in the fall, but this is not a budget fragrance. So I found, I just discovered this. It's called London Oud Silver. Let's just do a quick comparison, shall we? Regular Creed Aventus. Sprayed regular Creed Aventus 2020 issue. On the left, it's a very fruity, bright batch of Creed Aventus. And on the right, London Oud Silver, a brand new fragrance I discovered from Emore London. That's the company that makes it. Actually, the fragrance was made in Dubai. And it smells more spicy and more smoky than this. But right now, I can't even tell them apart. This is 60 seconds after wearing them. The fragrance does last a decent amount of time, well over six, seven hours. And it turns very nice and spicy and saffrony during the next 30 minutes. It's a thicker, slightly smokier version than that. It's got that different like oomph underneath it. Now the, the Creed Aventus is starting to become more brighter and fruity now. This is a 2020 batch. I hope you enjoyed this movie.